Alrighty. Got a new one, not a monster this time, but we got a walk. Hold on, there's an extra frame right there. I gotta cut it shorter. There you go, for the loop. I think the main thing is that, I might argue that's a, uh, an acting choice and a performance thing, but to me, it's a bit broad in terms of how these shoulders move. It gives it that feeling of really leading with the shoulder, with the arms dragging. And then the overshoot there. I don't know. To me, it seems a bit big and over animated in terms of seeing how the wrist drags so much, then goes and overshoots and drags again. It just makes it a bit flowy. I don't know. That's, that's the one thing. Watch out. You got some intersections on the sword here. He also feels a bit leaning backwards. I would have him lean slightly more forward. You can see that here. And I think even the way it's like, da, 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 walk, it's almost like these guys go up a bit too high. I might also experiment with, experiment with keeping them a bit lower on that arc. A little bit poppy on the knees. And that head is a bit too IK or world space, however you have it, you know. However, your follow options are there. Like it's like on something like that, I would have a slight tilt on the side, a little bit of wire rotation as well. Just a little bit less stiff there. You can see this feels like a 2D car, just following the neck. And then looking at the front, the arcs of the of the legs are too clean. Falling like that. So you could have up with a little bit of inwards move outer arc land also the feet are very default straightforward i would have them out a little bit you know so that the toes are a bit more to the right and then as you like even here the knee could be out with the feet you know a bit more like that and then when they land they will be if we can we zoom in that way um that's the ground the foot isn't flat on it you know what i mean it will land a bit, I'm exaggerating, but a bit off like this, and then clack, clack, one or two frames, flatten. I think that's the main thing that I have for this one. There is another one here. Boom. Bit fast, huh? There's something a bit jarring to me in terms of how quickly we get into this over one frame even if it imagines like some magical punch or something that gets into this that you could have that but then i will keep the head up and then those arms could still be you know up in that position this arm could be slightly out with you know it could be the sort like this but you still have that impact and then the head goes down and then arms go down. Like this will have less resistance than this. It's less to hold, less weight. So this would fall through first and then the arms. The rest is okay. It's just that beginning. But also this, watch out, as you go back, it feels like we're stopping here. Boom. And it goes straight up versus okay, finishing that up with a bit of a nicer arc. And then it gets a bit broken and how far that knee stays there. Like as he goes back and oh, turns, I would already have that knee slightly going in and could already be inwards a little bit more. It's a bit wonky there. Uh, you got a massive intersection with the sword through there. And that's a bit of a sharp direction change. Because now you're getting into ragdoll, just kind of a fall. I might argue you can kind of stylize it a little bit, but I would still give this a bit more of a whew, towards here, a bit of a slippage. Because that foot just kind of did a move there, but the, the leg hasn't slipped back for the body to kind of do that whoa move. So this feels more like a pop at this point. And I think probably fine. Let me look here. Yeah, sometimes the, that type of shadowing feels like it's still floating, but it's good from the other view. Yeah, then it just comes down to 
just checking your arcs, follow the tip of the sword, how there, there's some harsh changes, especially here, you know, you can see that tip, if you follow that, if I do some onion skating, goes over there, then suddenly goes down, and it goes over to the right, and then kind of stays there, suddenly to the right again, suddenly back down again, and then over there, like all that stuff just needs, and your next pass, or next few passes, some cleaning, I know this is something that you can always do at the end, I wouldn't start that early, since you're still kind of working on the body, physics, and stuff. That's kind of what I have for this guy. Let me see. Yeah. Wow. Probably pretty cool. Wait, you mentioned that there's another one with the camera. Okay, so that's the camera follow. Let me move that in here. Cool to see. Just let me quickly check. Seems good from the top, just terms of the arc. And then from the side, it seems pretty okay too. Oops. As he goes forward. In terms of... Maybe this. It's quite a you know, forceful move, but then when he lands, it goes this way. It's just to me, it was something where you have like this, and then you go... Fa -pa! Up... This to me would be where he might land here, but he might be down there with the root a bit more forward. He might even have to take a step again, you know, where this trajectory of the root. Let me do onion skating here. I go from here, here. You know, you might even have that a bit higher. Gets into this, lands, but then we suddenly go straight down and back where I would bring that forward to keep that for momentum. It's a bit weight wise, a bit. Was a bit stunted there. That's all cool. Same thing here. Watch out. You got a really big move. But then that thing is. And then you're fully off balance. And then we're just resting here. That will work. That. And then the next pose. Like your root's going to have to be here. And you're going to have to shift that thing a bit more forward. And then that's pretty cool. I do love this here. Especially from that angle. See, there it's cool. I was at the end, all that momentum lands and still goes forward as he has to versus going back, which you have in the other uh, in the other sections. What's this one? All right, there's another one. Let me bring that in at the end. It's almost like he's trying to cut an apple or a lemon. Yeah, you can still still feel it here a little bit. The times where it suddenly feels like it goes back a bit too far, kind of betrays the weight and momentum a little bit. But I would look at that stuff first, and then, like in the other one, look at arcs, just plan this out and see how, how these guys are doing. This is really cool, though. I think this is going to be really neat. Get some smears in there. You can see definitely here how that spacing too it gets a bit wonky. It starts to kind of not drop anymore and float, and then suddenly drop down and then over. I think as a whole, it's cool. The actions are cool. I like the ideas there. Again, that's very smitten by that graphic moment of that twirl. It just needs smoothing out of the path and the weight and all that stuff. And then we got a... Wait. Just, I would... When you submit, I would cut out those frames. Also for yourself. I'm assuming you're judging that with the frames off. I have to go back two frames, actually. Interesting contrast of timing there. It's like this swing back. We're holding this almost a bit too long. I kind of like it though. It gives a bit of a an offset there. Same idea. Watch out. Your head space there. Maybe it's in the world space or however you have that head align. All those rigs have different things, but that needs a bit more influence. You know, something like that. You would have that head tilted a bit over and a bit more like that. In Y. You got some outwards arcs there, which is cool on your feet. And especially, well, here you can tilt a bit over. I like that it's out. You can tilt it out a bit. We're at one corner. It was down first, but that's cool. There's some pops in the knees. It's cool though. Just checking. This is 25% faster. I can totally see this 50% faster. <laughs> this is twice as fast. 
Uh, but even like 25% faster could work. Because that's, that's the thing that kind of, maybe that's what I was looking or felt with that hole that it felt like he's leaning forward so much and it's such a run, but then he kind of feels slow. Whereas 25% just feels better. You can totally get away with 50%, but at least 25, I think that would help the energy. And just because of the swords, let me see, intersection there. And then the other one, just check on your end. I can see, seems okay. Maybe we'll check here, in your 3D space there. That seems to go over the thigh and the butt. You know, that's adjustable at the very end. Like I would do all that stuff and then that stuff at the end. You might even, let me see. I think it's okay. I was wondering if you could go even more inwards with the with the legs, the angle wise, but I think that's okay. 25% faster. So I wonder if we can maybe take a frame out of this, that forward move. We're faster, a bit of a faster plan. Even at 25%, there's some moments where something feels just Cool them, I like it. It's mostly that, back to 100%, normal speed. Yeah, it's like this could also, like there's such a move here, I would take a frame out of that too. Or you can almost do like a slight hold there and then hold. Something that means slow feeling how the legs go back. I think generally, it's totally up to you, but generally I would speed that up. 25% feels a bit better and then go from there. Is that, is that right? That's the same one. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.